Hello, beautiful ones. Hello, hello. Welcome to this space. Welcome to your September. <laughs> Welcome to another now. Yes, another now. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Hello, hello. Thank you for your smile. Thank you for your smile. Hello, hello. All right, let's see. Anyone who has sage and is able to, Arlene, you can imagine. <laughs> Arlene's at work. She can't sage in her office. Well, she probably does sometimes, but um, if you have sage, I'm going to be doing a little bit of sage. You can have that to do with me if you choose to, or just allow me to do it as proxy for you. Your Patreon audio link is over an hour long this month. And it is about activating your being to another level of your consciousness considered the in the understanding of living water, you being living water. We've talked about this a little bit in other spaces as well. Um, but the audio will release, I believe it's scheduled to come out tomorrow morning and Eastern time. And it's very layered and very vast. So set aside some time if you can. Everything that I present to you in this Patreon platform is interconnected and everything I do is interconnected. So many of you know this because you're in my goddess course, my being the new human, my AQE master, you're in all these different spaces and you give me this grand, beautiful feedback of how they're all bringing in an additional space of the core understanding that we're navigating, that we're embracing and that we're expanding. So everything I do here on the Patreon platform is all interconnected as well. So when you enter this month, here you are the first day, if, right? If you're here live or watching the video today, the September 1st, and no matter, some of you may get this a little later in the month. You'll get it when you're supposed to get it. But what, and, in, and in the understanding of quantum, it's all now. So you're good. You're good. No matter when you found this or how you got here, you're good. But it's all interconnected. So if you are connecting in with this blessing ceremony, connect in with the other spaces for that same month, the audio link, the sacred alignment that's going to be released, the being the new human classes that will come forth, three of them this month. All of these spaces edify and amplify one another. So to get the absolute most out of it, allow yourself that. Allow yourself that connectivity to these other spaces that will bring this into you at an additional level of anchorship for your being, ownership for your being. My ears are doing beautiful toning right now. There's a lot of divine masculine healing available to you, even if you are not in a masculine format in this now version of yourself, you have a divine masculine within you. And we have many in our beautiful Patreon family who are um, masculine version. Uh, in their human format. And so whether you're whatever format you're in, we all have masculine and feminine. And there's a lot of masculine healing going on um, throughout the month of September. There's a lot of feminine that's been anchored. So it is an initial space of assistance and connectivity because all are one in essence. And that which has been healed and anchored in the feminine male or female version is now also assisting the masculine spaces of every human to um, shift into a new alignment of consciousness and healing for themselves as well for that space of the self as well. So a little energy update there for you little information to give to you. Um, uh, and, and this is this is a really powerful understanding to to hold. And I know we're here for a blessing ceremony, but I'm giving everyone a minute or two to get in the door. So I'm sharing 
because I will waste not one moment with you. I'm sharing some additional information as we're letting people in. The energy alignment we are in right now is of, oh, it is of a higher um, shift point than we've ever been at before, ever. Like even ancient civilizations and humanity that did it really well and almost did it right fully, we're the do-over. We're the do-over. We're the ones that are implementing the bring it home. Have you ever seen a relay race? You ever seen a relay race where there's like five or six or four or whatever people in the group and then there's this baton or stick right usually and so the one runner starts off and carries the stick and runs the whole race and then the other runner sees them coming with the stick and starts running a little bit you know to get up a pace and then the one that's been carrying it passes it off to the new one who's ready to boom keep going we have the baton divine one it's been passed to us and we are surrounded by support higher dimensional you've heard the term universe got your back <laughs> really does <laughs> so as you navigate your nows whether you are placing them with the understanding of being within a certain month like this right now, we happen to be experiencing September of 2022, or whether you are in a another now down the road or remembering a now you've already been in, you are functioning from a higher vibrational space of yourself than you ever have. Allow yourself to really live from that understanding. Live from it. Think from it. Feel from it love from it laugh from it you know i was listening to one of my year old being the new human classes because i'm going to start releasing them on youtube so that the public can receive them and um so this one was an old one it was almost like one year ago right today and I'm listening to myself and I'm, I'm like, yeah, this is still really good. Yeah, yeah, you know, this, this is so helpful. And, and I'm listening to myself as if I'm listening to someone else in a sense. And say, I'm hearing myself saying something about, you know, you are being the new human, you know, to the, the class that was there. And I, I answered myself out loud in the room. I was packaging certificates to be sent out for the graduates of the last course space so i'm packaging packages listening to my youtube video preparing to come into here for you to see you and i'm hearing myself a year ago telling people you know about being the new human and i answered myself out loud in in the space and i said that the only way you can be the new human is to be new and i know i've said it before but really implement that today as we bless your september that you be new that you allow yourself to dance in a new way, sing a new song, take a new step, embrace a space of you that's been waiting for you to embrace it, allow it, engage it, you know, from love, for love, for you. And remember that you are the master. There's no master over you except maybe the illusion of the thought that there is you are the master implementing everything everything come from love for yourself first and foremost and then the most amount of gratitude you can feel in your being for everything and you will have the most glorious blissful life and even when the everything may not look like something to be grateful for because you are anchored in that faith it won't matter to you you will be unwavering in the way in which you navigate and that's mastery that's sovereignty that's freedom and that's fully available at every moment of every now 
September, October, November, December, everything. All right, so if you have some sage, go ahead and grab it. I made note of that early on. If you want to just allow and receive the space completely, take the next 20, 30 minutes off. That might be new, remember? Want to be the new human, you do something new. It might be very new to just let go, to trust yourself. Lean into faith more than you ever have. Lean into your visualization, your imagination. Have faith in me, have faith in you, have faith in that in which we know we are. All right, beautiful ones. Let's take some sage and bless our space. And just take a nice deep breath in, nice and slow. You can close your physical eyes if you'd like to. And just allow. Just allow. Sense your heart center. Focus your imagination, your visualization on it. See it. See your heart center. See it vibrant, see it flowing, golden white light, your I am. And allow yourself to see your third eye, your crown, your glorious throat. And these energy centers of you lit up, aligned, vibrant, open. Take a nice deep breath in, nice and slow. Beautiful, just allow the space, just allow. Some one of you is in a car right now and there's beams of light around you, your team, they're actually working on your crown center. Maybe more than one of you. Root centers are expanding, just allow. Beautiful anchoring, Divine One, beautiful anchoring. And just allow yourself to see this beautiful alignment of your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown and the way in which you flow into your now version. So this is your eternal light, your consciousness, your energy signature that flows into this now format, moves through the heart and equally downward and upward, downward through your solar sacral root, legs, feet, into the earth, upward, throat, third eye, crown, out and around through your auric field, your beautiful field of love that is you. And that continual flow, golden and vibrant, nurtured by you, nurtured by your wholeness, nurtured by your connection and your understanding to you as the I am flowing through the now version, breathe. You stand taller than you ever have, Divine One. Yera soko anea na tawa. Yera sakakaua yea naotoa tea saoko. The energy of you rising from your torso's base, up your spine, to your crown, infusing your entire light shaft with love and vibrance. Breathe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful divine one. I want you to imagine and envision yourself and you are allowing yourself to see with your imagination. 
your arms raising up and outward side to side, the right completely stretched out to the right of you, the left completely stretched out to the left of you, palms facing forward, feet firmly planted in the earth, your energy vibrant and moving through your now format. I want you to take a nice deep breath in, nice and slow. Yes, if you feel to actually put your arms outward side to side, do so, Divine One. Follow your inner knowing. Some of you feel a lot of energy running through your legs right now. I want you to allow yourself to see the light of you, the golden white light of you, your consciousness, your directive power, your sovereignty, your wholeness, your nowness. I want you to see that light moving through your body, head to toe, swirling in the heart center, down your arms, and then out your palms, forward into what you see and understand as your September. Light pouring out your palms your, in your visual or in your physical reality, whatever you are intending to do. Bring the arms in slowly, keeping the hands, the palms facing forward. Pull them all the way in in your visual or your physical so that they are right in front of your chest, out just a bit from your body, facing forward. Feel the energy running through your hands, yes. Seeing September 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and so on ahead of you as the way in which the human understands time and processes and lives in the structure of. Seeing the golden light pouring from your hands, if you need to bring the hands back towards the body just a bit to hold them up still. And if it's a visual, you're fine. Light pouring from your palms out upon your days, your moments, your weeks, your minutes, all spaces of you. Every moon that rises, every sun that sets, every raindrop that falls, every wind that blows, every space that you have in which you connect with another, and you hear your own thoughts, you dream your own dreams, you experience you. Golden white light, the directive of love, flooding through and over and within, weaving the tapestry of your month, within the divine and if you feel to you can take your hands in your visual your imagination or if you are doing this in a physical manner and allow them to begin to dance allow them begin to weave your light through your month yara soko anea Maybe you feel as if they get to a day where there needs to be some extra movement of energy, some alignment, some removal, some transmuting, some clearing. You are capable, Divine One. You know how to be this you. You have been this you before, and you are returning to your understanding of your truth. Allow your rise, allow you. And just allow yourself to move your hands as you feel to, if you feel to, visually imagining or in reality. And you are weaving the light through your month of September. You see a conversation with someone you know that you have scheduled an event you know you will attend, a space you know you will witness. Weave the light of love, Divine One. Wrap it up in love. Raise it up in love. Seal it in love. Yarosokoakea. <laughs> 
Teia, Taua, 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 Kukua, Nea, Breathe. Purple flooding in, green flooding in, you aligning, designing, blessing your beautiful nows. Allow the space. Allow the space. Root centers are expanding, feet centers are expanding as you are anchoring this space, you are anchoring your blessing upon your own being and nows. You are placing a golden spiral of light around your own physical body. You are blessing and nurturing your temple, the vessel you inhabit. You are blessing your cells, your blood, your marrow, your bones, your systems, your organs, your DNA, your neuro pathways, every hair on your head, your follicles, your scalp, your fingernails, your teeth. You are aligning you to your highest, most optimal way of being. And you have the right and the power to do so. So allow you, Divine One, Yara Kakeanawa, Tao Toatea Sikiawa. Allow you, Divine One, allow you. Breathe. As you hold this space of connection, you allow your understanding of you as the living waters in the format of your vessel. The living waters are that which is the consciousness aware of itself, awakened to its sovereignty and living from that space of being. The living waters flow eternally throughout all time and space and beyond that as well. The living waters are that which any man or woman or any being in presence of the living waters may drink and also remember who they are. You are the living waters, divine one within your being. You are consciousness awakened to its understanding of itself and you are flowing from the sovereign state of that understanding. You are implementing and expanding every single breath. Breathe. Allow the space. Beautiful anchoring, Divine One. Beautiful anchoring. Well done, well done, well done. Now just allow you, sense your space, sense your being, drop your shoulders even more, relax the face, relax the body, relax the neck, really sink in, let go, float. Yira sukua ye anatawa te ananea tao. Tao, Tao. Just allow. You're expanding you. I see golden lines of light coming from each of you outward around yourselves into what you see as the field of limitless potential. You are actually expanding you right now. You are expanding your consciousness. You are expanding the field of which you are, the wave of that, the signature of vibration, frequency, tone, sound, light that you are. You are expanding you right now. Allow. Allow. It's safe. You're safe. It's safe to expand. It's safe to be powerful because 
you can be trusted with your power because you are love in human form. It's safe. Breathe. Allow the space. There's a lot being released and transmuted with love in the right side of the brain, the mind, the neural pathways, the front space of the head, all healing and clearing and expanding right now. Just allow, there's a ripple effect from you to your family, your children, your children's children the ones that come much further in what we see as the future that you are the ancestor of. And what you do right here, right now, solidifies and anchors an amount of love for those who come in what you call the future at a level of beauty beyond measure. You as the ancestor and you as the one who also connects with that which you see as your ancestor. This line of time blessing all it is connected to. Every increment, every space, every moment, every soul experience, every lifetime every love and every hate, all equally blessed by love. Breathe. The way in which your future looks different than your past is by changing your now. And that which you have implemented and placed upon your now is magnificent and glorious and divine. It is embodied and amplified within the one and holiness and goodness and mercy and grace flow. Allow yourself to imagine your hands on your heart center. If you want to place them upon your heart, do so. They're on your heart center, your chest, and slowly together as one, we acknowledge that we choose to open our hearts even further. We choose to open our hearts even further and allow even more love to be in the now. Breathe. Seeing every one of your days of September and slowly taking your hands and pulling them apart as if to open symbolically open the heart and pour your love upon your life. Deep breath in, nice and slow. Allow yourself to see 
all spaces of you, all experiences, masculine, feminine, every increment of vibration that holds you in any way. Allow yourself to see it baptized sacred waters blessing upon with the outpouring of love from your being in all now. Yara sokoanea tarayana takawatea tiara tu sukoa tu sukoa tu sukoa and just allow yourself to slowly bring your focus back, Divine One, when you are ready. Bring the focus back to the now. This is your focus space, but it is not the only space of you. It is a space or a point of reference that you are giving your attention to. But allow your knowing to come from the understanding that that which gives its attention to your now is every space of you, your wholeness, your quantum being is looking at your now, with you, through you. Breathe and allow that, allow that to be anchored by you in your knowing, deepened by you with your focus, blessed by you with your love. May your September and every one of your nows be beautiful. And as glorious as you. Thank you, Holy Ones. Thank you for being in this now. Thank you for being in this live and or be a video. Unending blessings upon you, Holy One. Unending.